shining, the birds are singing. It's the perfect day for a picnic. That would be great. Carmen and I have talked about having a picnic. Today is just the day to do it. Hey, Mom, can I have a picnic today in the park with Carmen? Sure, it's a beautiful day that you can go outside and get some sun. Why don't you invite all your friends? All my friends? Yeah, all of your friends. Well, I don't want to invite Bobby. He's terrible. I just want to have a picnic with Carmen only. Why don't you want to invite Bobby? Bobby will ruin everything. Don't you remember that time at the zoo? What he did with the cotton candy and the tiger. I oh. think you're being too harsh on Bobby. He's a great kid. Last Sunday I saw him with a friend picking up trash. I want this to be the perfect picnic with just me and Carmen. No Bobby. Absolutely no Bobby. You sound angry at Bobby. I just don't want Bobby there. He did all sorts of horrible things to that poor tiger. Well, do you remember what forgiveness is? It's giving up the feelings of bitterness and anger that you have against someone who's offended you. I think you're holding on to anger because Bobby offended you. Are you still mad for him calling you short? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I just don't want Bobby there. Chloe, if you hold on to those feelings of anger and bitterness, you will never really be happy. Those feelings will weigh you down. Remember, God forgave you for what you did wrong. You should forgive Bobby and let the anger and bitterness go. I don't know. I'll think about that. This time, though, can I just have a girls picnic with Carmen? Yes, you can. But why don't you invite Bobby to something else later? Yeah, okay. I've got to go get Carmen. Thanks, Mom. See you later. This was such a good idea, Chloe. And it's such a nice day. It is a great day. Oh, such I, a good day. I have something for you. Here, it's a picture I drew for you. Aw, thanks. That's wonderful. Is it a chicken? No, it's you. See, that's your hair and there's your eyes. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's the girls over there. What are they doing? I don't, huh, we should go join them. Bobby, I don't think we should bother them. Especially since you had that candy bar. Oh, no, they love us. Come on, we should go join them. Oh, no, Bo Bobby. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 I can't watch. Oh, oh. Hi, Chloe and Carmen. What you guys doing? Hi, Bobby. Ugh, Bobby, what are you doing here? Oh, I decided to come to the park, too. What luck. Yeah, lucky. Yeah, want to join us? Oh, what you doing? We're having a picnic. Huh? <laughs> a picnic? <laughs> I'll get him back. 
I'll have my revenge. Justice will be served. How can I get him back? I need something that will teach Bobby not to mess up our picnic. I know I can prank him with lemonade and popcorn. Yeah, that's good. I can get him in his tree house where he thinks he's safe. He won't see it coming. Then I'll strike. I need to go to his tree house and prepare. Whew, oh, that was close. She'll never find me my uh, super secret sky fortress though. Uh, huh? oh, oh, oh no, she's coming. How did she find me? Oh, 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 oh I've got to hide. Uh, there we go, she won't find me in here. <laughs> I've got popcorn, glue, mouse traps, rope, lemonade, confetti, silly string, and a bucket. Now to set it all up. This will be great. Bobby is so going to get it. All right, I'm just going to tie this rope down here. Oh, hey, Bobby. We should. Oh, ah, Bobby! Oh, Nathan. Sorry about that. Nathan, what are you doing here? You messed up my plan. What What are you doing here, Chloe? Well, you messed up my revenge plan. I'll have to reset everything all over again. Revenge? What are you talking about? I'm going to get that Bobby. What? What are you setting up? Are you setting up a trap? What did you do in here? How many cans of silly string is that? Enough to teach Bobby a lesson he'll never forget. I should have filled that bucket up with thumbtacks and spiders. What? Chloe, you can't do this. Can't? Can't? He ruined it. He ruined everything. Justice must come. No, this isn't justice. This is revenge. You need to let go. You need to forgive him. Forgive him? I can't forgive him. He did way too much. What about you? What about when you were forgiven? Was that too much? What, what do you mean? When was I forgiven? When God forgave you, you know, from all your sins, was that too much for him to forgive? I'm not God. Only God can forgive that much. That isn't what God says. It isn't? No, it says in Ephesians 4.32, And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. That's cheating. Why do you have to bring the Bible into it? This is what God says, not me. When you become a child of God, he has forgiven us for all the bad things we did. He has forgiven us of a lot, too. So because he's forgiven us, he tells us to forgive one another. He says, forgive one another just like God forgave you. What? Forgive Bobby? I don't know if I want to do that. Well, God didn't really say only if you wanted to. He says it as a command. He says to forgive others. We have been forgiven by God a whole lot of really bad things. Now, since he has forgiven us, he tells us to forgive others. Well, I don't know. Well, you don't forgive someone. It's like saying, God, you forgave me of all my sins, but I'm not going to forgive someone else when you do something wrong. That's ridiculous. All right, all right. But first, Bobby has to ask me for forgiveness. God doesn't say they have to ask you first. Remember, for it's not for them. It's for you. Remember, forgiveness is giving up bitterness and your anger against others. So even if they don't ask for forgiveness, God tells you to get rid of those feelings. Okay, yeah, I really don't want to, but God is always right. I'll let go of my anger at Bobby. Even though he wrecked my picnic, I'll forgive him. I won't try to get back at him anymore. Oh, 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 oh that's great. Oh, I was wondering how much longer I could be in that box. Bobby, how long have you? Bobby, I'm sorry I was trying to get revenge. I forgive you for what happened earlier. Oh, well, yeah, I was thinking in that box. I didn't realize how I made you so mad. I'm sorry, too. Great. Now we can clean up this mess. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, 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 ah! Hi, Chloe and Nathan here. Today, we were learning about how we can forgive others. Yeah, forgiveness is not staying mad at those who wronged you. You sure had a lot to forgive, didn't you, Chloe? Yeah, and it was hard, but I knew that God had already forgiven me 
of all my wrongdoing. And I know I needed to forgive others because of that. Forgiveness is hard, but we always need to remember that God forgave us and that we need to forgive others. So maybe someone did something to you and you got hurt. Forgiving means that you have to let go and not stay mad at them. You don't even have to wait for them to ask for forgiveness. So before we leave, if you have someone you're mad at, I want you to go and say you forgive them, even if they don't ask for it. Bye! Bye.